it's freezing. Wait, what did what did you say? It's been really cold lately, but I gotta be careful of dust and humidity. Static electricity is the enemy of detail work, so I gotta keep an eye out for it. Interesting. Uh, yeah. I need to make some sales. Okay. You should be grateful. Over 300k? I'm very grateful. After we do the next Mementos run, the next awards, the next Mementos run might be able to get us enough for the Salvation Crown. That'd be pretty, uh, cash money. Bum, bum. I don't really want to buy or do any customizing until we get a riot. A, a riot? Dude, I, it's a good thing stream ends in like 20 minutes. I can't talk today. But, um, I don't remember what a Y gives you at rank 10, but we should wait for rank 10 and then try and do some more buying and whatnot. Uh, come again. Are you following a 100 guide or playing freestyle? Freestyle, I never follow guides for these games. Up? I don't find it as fun, to be honest. I like to play at my own whims. Remember what I said? Time for you to do some work around the shop, Mr. Gun Enthusiast. Hey. Be careful with this gun. If anyone's interested in buying it, let me know right away. This thing's an antique. I'm not gonna sell it to anyone less than a real gun expert. Oh, and about Suda. I heard he got excommunicated from the clan. Apparently his boss found out what happened. Serves him right, huh? It sounds like great news. We don't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> yep, exactly what I was hoping for. This whole thing's been really crazy, though. I mean, Suda used to be the role model for upholding the code. I guess this is what he meant when he said times are changing. Hello? Ah, oh, it's you. If you want to talk about Suda... Huh? Wait, what? The heck are you doing? Hey. Uh, bad word. Hey, hold on! Darn it! That scum Masa's abducted Kaoru, what? Who's Masa? From the Hashiba clan. The guy you dropped on at the diner, remember? That was a while ago, dude. That was like months ago, in-game. That scumbag. He knew about Suda's failure the whole time. I bet he was just waiting for a chance like this. We should hurry. Right, they're over at Seaside Park. I'll grab the keys and lock up. Shit. Come on, let's go. How many hours does it take for you to complete one run? I don't know, like 120, give or hey. take? Something like that? Like Kaoru go, he's got a knife! Take it easy, Mune-san. All I did was give him a friendly ride home from cram school. Ain't that right, Kaoru-kun? Dad, I'm sorry. He said he had some stuff to tell me about you. Then he... <sighs> Kaoru. Man, ain't he just a great kid. Yeah, cut the nonsense. And what are you, Mune-san's little errand boy? Wait, I remember you. You're that weirdo from the diner. How would you remember that? Hey. I said like Kaoru go. Screw off, I heard you the first time. So what are you gonna make me do? Great question. You know those modded guns you were gonna give Suda? It'd be real nice to get my hands on them. There's a lieutenant spot open now that Suda's gone, but I still need to prove my worth before I can get it. And you're gonna help me do just that? Huh. Sorry, Masa, but you got some real crummy timing. We just broke them all down. There's nothing left. You think that's gonna dissuade me? You know, I know everything about Kaoru-kun's situation. <sighs> what? My situation? Dad, what does he mean? Don't you remember what I told you in the car, Kaoru-kun? About your dad? About what he thinks of you? Right. I'm just a burden, aren't I? Yo, can I pull out a gun on this fool? That's it, isn't it? Tell me, Dad. I can handle the truth. You can't handle the truth! That ain't true. I'm trying to protect you, Kaoru. Hey, this family nonsense is real touching and all, but we're supposed to be negotiating here, remember? Why don't we start with the delivery date? The sooner the better in my book. Shit. Oh, don't give me that nonsense. None of this would be happening if you didn't go and take that brat in. I knew it. Everything really is my fault. Kaoru. You need to trust your son here, brother. Akira. Hey, what are you two chatting about over there? Could you really not hear me? We're like five feet away. Yo. Kaoru, listen. There's something I've been keeping from you for a while now. You're probably not gonna like it. Truth is, your real parents didn't die in a car crash. <sighs> you were abandoned by your mother when you were still a baby. That's why I took you in. Believe it or not, I was actually part of the Yakuza back then. Huh? Oh man, I can't believe you really freaking told him, Mune-san. He's not lying, Karukun. From what I heard, your mom tried to sell you to us just so she could get her hands on some easy drug money. 
Sell me. Yep, then when Muni san here wasn't buying, she just dumped you and ran. And that's how you ended up with the Yakuza dad. Pretty crazy, right? Man, this is way better than How I Met Your Mother. I've never watched that show. It was just a funny joke. Ah, it's a relief. I've been trying to hold that in all day, all long. All day, all long? I read that wrong. I couldn't wait to see the look on your face when you found out. Man, this is hilarious. Boo freaking who? How sad. Haha. <laughs> Enough. All of that might be true, but it's in the past now. I'm not a child anymore, and I'd never let a stupid secret like that get to me. Huh? So what if my mom dumped me? Or if my dad was part of the Yakuza? We might not be related by blood, but we're connected by the Gecko! And then the Gecko tattoos start shining, and then they, like, summon their... They pull out their dual discs and summon their earthbound immortal lizard guy? It'd be great. So you know what? I don't care what you have to say about us. I'm me, and Munahisa Owai is my dad. <laughs> that a boy, Kaoru. Listen, Masa, let's put an end to this right here, right now. We can start fresh. You seriously still don't get it, do you? Karukuns. No, Masa. You're the one who doesn't get it. You've really screwed up this time. He's got a gun! Oh. Suda! Suda! I mean, sir! Don't give me that. I know you ratted me out to the boss. You never have been good at keeping your mouth shut. No, it wasn't me! You dumb idiot. You brought a knife to a gunfight. Uh-huh. And what do you think you're doing waving that knife around? Huh? I'm sorry. Your kid's got guts, Mune. Like father, like son, huh? Yo. Looks like it. So what now? Well, I'll start by making this idiot repay his debts. I haven't thought much about what comes after. All I really know is, this is where we say goodbye, Mune. <sighs> Take care, brother. Let's go. Yo, shout out to Suda. He had to have his heart changed, but still. Are you okay, Kaoru? Yeah, I was a little afraid, but it's all better now. Honestly, I'm surprised you stayed calm through all that. Guess you're maturing quicker than I even realized. He's a cool kid, huh? Darn right he is. Though he ain't much of a kid anymore. You know, I've been so busy making sure he doesn't end up like me, I forgot to see who he's actually becoming. I can't believe I'm only just realizing this now. <laughs> appreciate it. And it's all thanks to you, kid. I appreciate it. For real. That's Ryuji's thing. Rank 9. Still not ready for rank 10, though. All right. Hey, all that excitement made me super hungry. Why don't we go back to that diner? <laughs> you seriously eat on a whole nother level. You might even end up taller than me someday. Let's go. Come on, let's head over there. Let's go. <laughs> Easy. Give me a phone call? Yeah, okay. Give me some music notes here. Yo, it's me. Sorry for the whole mess back there. I'm glad Kaoru's safe and all, but... Man, he ended up with a heck of an appetite after that. Sure was something. Connected by the gecko, huh? Kid must have grown into a man while I wasn't looking. <laughs> gecko bonds go beyond blood, brother. <laughs> ha! The heck are you even talking about? Ready for rank 10. Let's go. But I guess you might be right. A symbol of protection for the home and the family. Somehow, the gecko actually did end up protecting my family. Sounds too perfect to be real. After going out to eat with you guys, I can barely move. Too stuffed. Somehow, it's the best feeling in the whole world. Thanks, Akira. You did some great work. You got me saying all this sappy stuff. Downright embarrassing. I gotta go get some air. Cool down a little. Alright, later. It's my birthday! Then. There are only two weeks left before the election. You better take this seriously. Do I have plans today? Bum, bum, bum. I hope I do. Oh, thank goodness Haru's available. I really thought they... When Makoto messaged me about the palace, I was like, oh no. So wait, do I, do I not have Shinya's request? Do I need to get one more rank up? Yeah. This is Futaba's, and then that's the one from... Uh, What's-his-face? From Mishima. Happy birthday! We're three days from Lone Wolf's birthday. His birthday's gonna be next stream. We only got about 10 minutes left. Okay. I really, really need Shinya to give me his, uh, his request ASAP, dude. Yeah, we just get Haru's rank 9 done here, then. 
Let me look at, uh... Let me look at, uh... Ariadne real quick. Hey, inmate. Ow. Hi. Do you How's it going? I'll take care of Incense? Them. All right, so we need Are a fusion alarm. What? Fusion no alarm, please. And then... I guess I'm just gonna throw... I'm gonna have Chihaya throw some affinity at Shinya. I don't even know if it'll even do anything when he's ready for a rank up or waiting for his request or whatever. But just in case, I'm gonna go ahead and do it because he's the only one we need stuff with right now. I guess I probably should have ranked up Haru, actually, and then done it with Haru because she might need more to get to 10. We need to be able to max her out at our first opportunity. Really, we just need Shinya to give us his request is what we actually need. What do you think? All right, um, give me a fusion alarm as well, please. What shall we do? Bum, bum, bum. Fusion alarm. Yeah. Here we go. I also need Makoto to be available on more days. On days that Shinya isn't available. Their days keep overlapping and it sucks. What do you think? This is good. You're right, random, random individual. You're correct. I agree. Hi, I'm here. Pursue rehabilitation. I will pursue rehabilitation. All right, I think I'm going to give you that triple single stat one. Yes, this would be plus two magic strength and agility. Well, what you really need is agility. Or actually, I could get your endurance up to 50 here. Endurance and agility. Yeah, plus two on endurance and agility. This is great. We're gonna use the strong stuff today. Perfect. And then probably this this might be the last incense we get on Ariadne before we take her out. And then when I put our sen in, we definitely want to hit our sen with um We want to hit our sen with uh the big luck ups. There we need to get luck up from Jose. Up form. Myriad slashes. Debilitate. I want debilitate. Yes. Yes? Yes. This will be its new now. I will want debilitate on Koryu, I think. Cause we have Thermapply on our Sen, which we've never made use of even once. Maybe I should just give up on that idea and give him something else. One of but my favorite duties. It's a nice idea, I just never make use of it. Give me a fusion. Misha Guji. Oh, this thing. Unremarkable. The Pale Rider. That's another rider we need right there. I'm pretty sure we need all the riders at some point for something or other. For a big fusion. Yeah, Foul Stench. Whatever. Just keep your usual. Invigorate 3 and Invigorate 2 and Null Wind for no reason. Just to keep passing it along. This could be there you go. Now, let us begin. Let us begin. I wonder what you itemize into. Probably some kind of status ailment thing. I don't really want to lose a gown. I don't think I'll ever use Pale Rider though, so go for it. Maybe we'll get something cool. Megion and Freydon, yeah. It was just a just a positive, really. I will never use Abysmal Surge if I ever even use this persona. Get rid of Brain Shake for that. Should have gotten rid of Agilau. We'll get rid of Agilau for Evade Bless. Deathbound. Nah. Just have you focus on magic. It turned out great. Hooray. Always strive for more. Hex ring. Myriad slashes? Sure. Ah, so assume your new form. Why not? If it even works. It worked. This weapon will be stronger than normal. Let me buy back to Kinney before I forget because we need Empress because we're going to be hanging out with Haru next. Thank you. Cannot do Trumpeteer yet. You're the one that needs all the riders and I don't have Black Rider yet. Okay, fair, fair. Black Frost in the distance. The Suki. Kor I want Koryu so bad, dude. Get ready for this. Y'all ready for this? Bam, 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 bam. This won't fail. There's no way this could fail, chat. This never fails. 
this always works. Every time. Look at all of these amazing skills you have. Hold up, hold up, hold up. There's a lot here. There is a lot here. Hold up. Let's do... Invigorate 3. Panta Ray. Megidola. I'm gonna go Frey Dine because you have the skill that strengthens magic skills targeting one foe. And then... No win. And none of this matters because this is gonna fail. Guaranteed. Yep, alright, well... All of that thought process for nothing. That could have been a really cool fusion. Maybe I should buy back those personas and do it again. How could it fail, dude? I can't believe it failed, man! What are the chances? Asterius! Ha ha ha, I'm Asterius! Become your mask very well, but if you let your guard drop, I shall crush you. What the heck? Oh, it's gonna give Asterius garbage, though! I don't want this! I mean, he doesn't have time to mock you! And his ability is Gloomy Child, Rain Snow Pollen, always in effect? Is that- that sounds like an awful ability. This sucks! This sucks! What can I itemize you into? I should itemize you without registering you. It is an awesome looking persona. I really want to use Austerius. But I don't want him to have all those crappy abilities. Time for some rehabilitation. Itemize? Blazing horns. Sure. Oh, it gives you fire amp! And endurance plus 10. That's awesome. I might we might put this on uh on on. So this Give it is, to this may prove somewhat extreme. Extreme. Mine. Can you stack fire amps? If on gets uh, on learns fire amp later, right? I know you can stack fire amp and fire boost. But if on has fire amp and then I have her equip an item that gives her fire amp again. Does it double? Only one amp? That's very disappointing. For now. Very upsetting. These are the paths you have walked. Uh, what was I about to do? I wanted to look and see if Austerius was like still ruins. This persona? No! No! All right, we have to get whatever fuses into Asterius and fuse him again because I need him to have Titan Machia. That's his unique move. That's so unlucky. Why did it fuse Asterius? It shouldn't be able to fail fuse into a, a whatchamacallit persona, a, uh, a DLC persona. That's madness, man. That's madness. Uh, let's look at the Underground Mall real quick. Can I buy a fishing rod without having to use my points to get a fishing rod? Is that something I can do? This is like the sports shop. The cheapest Asterius would be Misha Guji and Barong. What would you like? We'll we'll worry about it later. Yeah, high tech rod. Fishing rod made using space technology. What is what is space technology? What does this mean? Strong and tough rod. 100 yen or 80k yen? Hmm, I wonder which one is better. Yeah, give me the high-tech rod. Alright, so we're very good to continue fishing now. Bum, bum, bum. We probably won't catch the Guardian until the third semester, but that's fine. It's made from Neospatians, dude. Fantastic. Alright, well, the Asterius thing is unfortunate, but it's fine. We just need to fuse something into Asterius later and get him Titan Amakia and other good moves back. But I think, actually, that took a bit longer than I thought, so we're probably gonna wrap up here for today and then hang out with Haru next time, more than likely. I should write something. I should write something. Which one am I supposed to save over? I don't think we've saved once today. That's insane. Ending the stream on my birthday so we can start next stream on my birthday. Fantastic. All right, so Makoto needs three ranks. Haru needs two, and we're going to get her one up next stream. Futaba needs three, but we need to do a request. Shinya needs three, but we need to interact with him again. I don't know if he'll rank up or what or how that goes, but we need to get his request so that we can continue him. All of the three remaining nighttime confidants just need one rank up. Next stream, we'll also give Seth High Counter and wrap up the twin wardens. So we'll get them done. But uh, I think, right, so far, we have not missed 
a single daytime rank up. So as of right now, we are still well on pace to get all of the all of the confidants to max rank before the uh, the end of the deadline or by the end of the deadline. And like I said, it doesn't matter if we get it by the end of the deadline because they give you like three days to rank up after the deadline before the end of OG Persona 5. So if we miss out by like one day, those last couple of extra days might be able to get us what we need. I just really want to get all the confidants maxed out before December 25th in game because that's like when the original game ends. So I really want to make that happen. But uh, hey, that will be it for today. For those of you watching on YouTube, thank you very much. I hope you are enjoying the playthrough. If you want to catch these live, link to my Twitch channel description. I'd love to see you there. Or keep watching on YouTube. I appreciate the support either way. And until next time, farewell.